Mai rimu rapa ki Turakirai, hoki ki uta ki tua whenua ki te wahi e kia nei, ko rimu taka. Ana kai roto i e nei hua hanga ngā whenua, ngā awa, ngā wairere, ngā poke teitei, ngā kōiwi o ngā tūpuna o tira ngā taonga katoa o tarana ki whānui, ki te upoko o te ika, e rongo e whakairi hi ake ana ki runga, ki runga hei, turu turu o fiti whakamaua ki a tīna, haumie hui e tāiki e. Tui? A tui. Mm, tui. Probably the fantail. Fantail. Yeah. fantail. It's got to be Cardiadia. They'd have to be like the parrot looking one. Um, Kia? Kaka. Kiwi. Kakapa. How many birds, native birds, do you think are killed each night by the predators? Mm, probably hundreds. Every night? 50? Each night. Oh, goodness. 100? More? Oh, 500? <laughs> What is it in the thousands? Two and a half thousand. Eight thousand. Ten thousand. Yeah, I'll ballpark it like thirty thousand. More? Yep. It's horrible. I'm just going to get sad now. They're going to tell us a really horrible statistic. Sixty-eight thousand native birds killed every night. Sixty-eight. Every night. Yeah. Bullshit. A little known fact about Aotearoa is that we are right at the top of the list in terms of threatened and endangered native species. There's something like 4,000 species across, across the country. And so we had a decision to make. Do we let these incredible species that exist nowhere else in the world continue to slip off the face of the planet, or do we do something about it? Good morning, team. I'm just going to go through the data from yesterday and you'll all be pleased to know there was no activity. We are Predator Free Wellington and we're trying to do something that's never been done before in the world. So we're part of a national mission to try and remove every last stoat, possum, rat and weasel from Aotearoa by 2050. So our part of the mission is to figure out whether we can do this in the urban environment. It's an area where 212,000 Wellingtonians live, work and play and that's the whole of our capital city and 30,000 hectares around it. So we've broken up the project area into five phases and our model is one of remove and protect. So we target every single individual animal and then we want to lock that away safely so nothing comes back in. And the country's largest ever effort to eradicate pests from an urban area has begun in Wellington. Phase one was Miramar. Hi, Cara. Hey. I'm Dan. There was already this fantastic effort underway through backyard trapping and reserve trapping with Predator Free Miramar and other groups. So we were basically adding to that mahi. Our role is to really acknowledge the mana of the community, work in partnership with them. So what's already going on and then what we can contribute, we can get the work done. And that's the only way that this could happen. So we've got all our data coming in here from the field team and we've got a bunch of different layers that we look at and we stack them all up together so we can get the bigger picture of what's going on with the rat activity. Detection's really key for us, being really in tune with what's happening and learning about the rat's behaviour and how we can apply our methods to target them more specifically. We've got about 450 cameras out on Miramar. We've got the fantastic Sally and her rodent dog Rapu who are running security the whole time. And of course we're counting on those 20,000 sets of eyes and ears from the community of, of Miramar that live out there. When we remove these target animals, what we're seeing is this incredible natural system bounce back. In the last few years since we've been doing this trapping mahi, the, the change in the wildlife has been just incredible. 70% increase in native birds around the peninsula. Four or five years ago, if we saw tui in our garden, 
we'd be all excited and we'd show the kids and things and now we don't get very excited until we see maybe a flock of 20. And we get huge big gangs of tui and we have piwaka waka that follow us around every time we're up in the garden. It's not just the birds that are flourishing, it's also the little guys. We've got geckos, we've got copper skinks, we've got leaf veined slugs, lots and lots of big spiders. Um, oh yeah, there's a couple. There's two Wellington tree ratters in here. We have tui, we have karoro, we have kariaria coming across. Last night, for the first time, I heard the ruru. I never get sick of recording the, um, the bird calls. It's a sound that makes you feel um, connected, I think. The community here really feels that this is something that they own and, it, and it's their project and they're really behind it and it continues to be. It's been a long time coming, but today we are at zero. been the culmination of many years hard work and commitment of thousands of people so to get to this milestone is it's just magic. It is really important that we mark this day because we are genuinely at zero. We've now built a community that is tuned in and knows the importance of keeping the rats out. It's the first time anyone has removed possums, rats and stoats from an urban area and now we can do it and now we have the opportunity to roll this out across the country. So these people are pioneers. We'll take today to celebrate and then, and then we're back into it. So no rest for the wicked. Credit Free Wellington team's on the move. Here we are in phase two, moving out west from the airport. 16 suburbs and we're taking this to approximately 70,000 new Wellingtonians. Phase two will be really exciting because we can apply everything we've learnt to the next part and hopefully do it a lot more efficiently. We've definitely got over the hurdle now of how do we do this thing. We've ironed out the method and we know what to do. So now it's just a matter of rolling through Wellington and keeping it moving. My advice to the rest of the city is get amongst it. There's a million different ways you can get involved in this work and it's, it's so, so rewarding. I like that every day we know that we're doing something good. Something good for the native wildlife and just for the communities that we're walking through every day. Once you see the effects of the project, it's kind of hard not to buy in, right? This is our phase two buffer system. It stretches all the way from Ofero Bay right through to Waitangi Park on the coast of the north there. It's lines of bait stations every 50 metres. And the goal of this is just to reduce the reinvasion pressure of rats into our phase two project area. So as the team are working their way down through here, the volunteers will be keeping the rat activity low over the western side. And what's epic about this buffer project is it's entirely led, entirely managed by volunteers. Let's go. Cheers. There seems to be a real enthusiasm for this project. Everybody who lives in Wellington is seeing the benefit of all the trapping efforts that have been going on. All good. There are so many people wanting to be involved. There's a real sort of groundswell happening here in terms of conservation, it's amazing. The Kaka have returned, there's tui everywhere, and now we're moving to total eradication, which will just cause an absolute storm in bird life. I've been in Wellington for about five years. When I arrived here, I heard about this predator-free 2050 project. I was like, wow. The ambition is just breathtaking, you know, it's wonderful. The Predator Free 2050 vision is a massive one and the cool thing about this is actually just making a start, setting one trap, seeing that Piwaka Waka come back and linking communities up because ultimately this is about people. We live in one of the few places in the world where our native biodiversity is actually increasing and that's our capital city. You know, this shows the best of us, a project like this. It shows strong, resilient, connected communities, all fighting for a shared vision. Just start to check the trap. Yeah. 
What we're seeing in Wellington City is something pretty incredible. It is actually changing the DNA of how the city's comprised. Where everyday Wellingtonians are stepping up to define the kind of city that they want to live in. You know, we've got a generation of rangatahi, of kids growing up, that now know what a kaka is, or a kakariki, or a kiriru, because they're around them every day, they're part of their life. And we think that is a pretty amazing investment in the future of our city. We're counting on everyone to be part of our team, to get on board, so come and join us. Pretty free Wellington. Woo!